Welcome to the PNSO Dinosaurs Museum. Small carnivorous dinosaurs. Yu Yan, the Sinosauropteryx, the first dinosaur found to have feathers. Scientific name: Sinosauropteryx. Period: Early Cretaceous. Fossil found in Liaoning Province, China, Asia. Description: Sinosauropteryx was about 0.9 to 2 meters long, with its body covered in feathers. It was a fast-moving predator. Were dinosaurs covered in scales, like lizards? We once thought so, but the discovery of the Sinosauropteryx fossil completely changed our perspectives. The discovery profoundly reshaped dinosaur science. For the first time, we learned that some dinosaurs had no scales but feathers, the same as birds. Actually, as early as 1856, T. H. Huxley, the famous British biologist, boldly argued that birds evolved from dinosaurs. It started with an accidental discovery. One day, he was having a turkey dinner. Suddenly, he noticed that. The bones of the turkey looked almost the same as those of the dinosaurs he was studying. Shocked by his discovery, he immediately looked for the bones of various birds and compared them with those of dinosaurs, and found that both shared many similarities. Because of this, he proposed that birds were descendants of dinosaurs, but he had no direct evidence to prove his hypothesis. To prove that birds evolved from dinosaurs, the first step should be finding a dinosaur that looks like a bird. A 10-meter-long bird can never fly. The proof must come from direct morphological evidence that dinosaurs and birds are related, which means finding a very small dinosaur. And we finally got one. In 1859, Comsonathus was discovered in Europe. About one meter long, slightly larger than a turkey. Apart from being small, its hollow and light bones were very similar to those of birds. The similarity significantly boosted the confidence of scientists who believed in the dinosaur bird link. Still, for even a small animal to fly, it must have feathers. Birds are the only living feathered animals. If scientists want to prove that dinosaurs were the ancestors of birds, they must find feathered dinosaurs. It was a challenging task. Fortunately, in 1996, they discovered Sinosauropteryx, a feathered dinosaur. Both Sinosauropteryx and Comsognathus belong to the Comsognathidae family. Sinosauropteryx's fossil was found in Beipiao City. Liaoning Province, China. It was preserved on a stone slab that looks like a book. If one opens that book, which means to cut the slab in half, one will find the fossilized bones. One half of the slab has the skeleton and is referred to as the main slab, while the other half, the counter slab, only has the negative impression made by the skeleton. Scientists initially received the Sinosauropteryx's counter slab from the fossil's discoverer. The 70-centimeter-long specimen was small by fossil standards. It looked very much like a dinosaur, with strong and sharp small teeth, short forelimbs, long and strong hind legs. All typical features were typical of carnivorous dinosaurs. In addition, from hat to tail, it had a layer consisting of feather-like structure. Which was clearly visible and about 0.8 centimeters long. At first, this feature persuaded scientists that the specimen was not a dinosaur but an early evolving, so it was named Sinosauropteryx, meaning Chinese reptilian wing. Soon after, however, scientists saw the main slab. This clearer specimen convinced them that it was not a bird but a dinosaur. It was the first feathered dinosaur ever discovered, one that completely changed our impression of dinosaurs. What did the feathered Sinosauropteryx look like? Look at Yu Yan, a little Sinosauropteryx. It was one meter long, 0.4 meters tall, and lightweight. It had a long, flat skull and large, sharp eyes. Its mouth had two rows of flat, sharp teeth with serrated edges. 
Its forelimbs were only one-third as long as the hind legs. Each limb had three digits with sharp claws at the end. The hind leg was long and strong, making it good for running. It was fully covered with feathers, with the longest ones near his buttocks that extended into his tail. Like modern birds' feathers, these were also hollow and soft. On the other hand, Yu Yan's feathers were primitive, similar to modern birds' down feathers. They helped keep the body warm, but were not suitable for flying. Yu Yan the Cynosauropteryx had reddish, brown plumage on their backs and orange and white stripes on their tails. Most dinosaurs' colors come from scientists' best guesses, but the Cynosauropteryx was an exception. Scientists found melanosomes in his feathers and deduced his colors, a rare achievement in dinosaur studies. Welcome to the PNSO Dinosaurs Museum. Join our writer, Ms. Yang Yang, and artist, Mr. Zhao Chuang, and start this fantasy journey.